Hello everyone, Aiden's here. You may think that busy people are productive because they spend all their time on their work. And you also hear people say, Oh, I'm very busy. Or maybe you have also said this. But have you noticed that some people are busy but their productivity are not high? Why? It is because they ignore the importance of efficiency. What does efficient mean? That is how to distribute your resources to solve different problems. How to be efficient instead of being busy? Let's go to see how. There are four ways to be efficient. Number one, stop multitasking. Multitasking will keep you busy. People feel that they are doing different tasks at the same time. They are writing proposals while they are replying to emails or messages. They are very busy and feel good about this condition because they think that they are not wasting their time. However, if you want to be efficient, you should avoid multitasking. Multitasking distracts you from your task. If you are writing a proposal and replying to emails at the same time, you will be distracted by the notification of emails. Study in 2013 showed that, that people who tend to multitask and switch tasks frequently were more off task. If you reply to several emails when you are writing proposal, are you sure that you can write a good proposal? Certainly not. Efficient people don't manage many tasks at once. They focus on one task each time, complete the task, and then start a new one. Number two, reduce the number of your tasks. You may have an experience like this. When you are writing your to-do list, you brainstorm the activities you need to do and write them down. You then discover that your list is very, very long. With this long list, you are afraid that you cannot finish them on the next day. You are in a rush to finish the tasks. However, you may not have a good result from it because you may spend less time on your major task so that you can finish the list. This is what busy people do. What do efficient people do? They try to reduce their number of tasks to minimum. Their list contain much fewer tasks, and those tasks are arranged according to their priorities. They have only one or two major tasks every day and set their goals. Once they achieve the goal, they switch to another task. It is because they understand that completing longer to-do lists doesn't mean higher efficiency. Number 3. Learn to say no. Busy people seldom say no. When someone asks for their help or invites them to social activities, they accept it every time. They will not consider the importance or the urgency of their requests or invitations. Maybe they don't want to reject others, but what they are doing is interfering with their plans. They become busier, but they are not focusing on their work. Efficient people know that one of the valuable essence is their time. Before responding to others' requests or invitations, they consider their schedules or plans first. They don't want to waste their time if others' requests or invitations provide no values to them. They are not afraid to reject others. But of course, you need to be polite if you want to reject others. They will arrange their time to participate in valuable events which help them to achieve their goals. Number 4. Time your activities. Busy people don't time their activities and estimate the time they spend on activities. It is why busy people are in a rush and tend to multitask. Time is an irreplaceable resource to human, so please do not waste it. Efficient people know this already. They will estimate the time on their activities realistically. They also trace back to the activities and check whether they have made good use of their time. Then, how to estimate the time realistically? It is a process of trial and error. If you do something practical like cooking, you can simply set the time limit because you already have the receipts. But if you are doing something creative like writing, the time estimation may depend on your experience. You will know how much time you need to write a script if you are experienced in script writing. If you are new to that activity, 
you can add a buffer time in the first three trials. Record the time you spent, and you will know how to estimate the time to complete the task later. Also, time all your tasks you did that day, including the time you respond to distraction or procrastinate. It can help you to calculate how much time you have wasted, and how efficient you are on that day. Be honest to yourself. To conclude, to be efficient instead of being busy, you need to stop multitasking. Stay focused on what you are doing now. Reduce the number of your tasks, and only one to two important tasks are left on your list. Learn to say no. Time your activities to reveal how you use your time. If you think that this video is good, give me a like. If you want to watch more uploaded videos, you can subscribe the channel and smash the little bell. If you get any method to become efficient, please write down below. See you in the next video.